today I'll be reading a book titled Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is one of the greatest boxers and well-known public figures of all time. He is famous for his float like a butterfly, sting like a bee quote, describing his boxing style and his outspoken, charming nature. Muhammad Ali was born in Louisville, Kentucky in 1942. He was named Cassius Clay Jr. after his father who worked as a sign painter. Though he loved his southern home, Ali understood at an early age that there was injustice in America, especially for black Americans like himself and his family. When Muhammad Ali was 12, his bicycle was stolen. He told Joe Martin, a nearby police officer, that he wanted to beat up the thief. Martin understood Ali's anger, but he had a better solution. Martin invited Ali to train with his amateur boxing group. Ali worked hard and won his first fight later that year, beginning his incredible boxing career. Ali won many more tournaments, leading him to the 1960 U.S. Olympic boxing team. That year's games were in Rome, Italy, but since Muhammad Ali was afraid of airplanes, he almost didn't go. Thankfully, he faced his fear, and with his devotion to training and years of experience behind him, Ali ended up winning an Olympic gold medal. When Ali returned to Kentucky, most people saw him as a hero. Unfortunately, the American South was still segregated, meaning black Americans were kept separate from white citizens. One time, Ali wanted to eat in a diner, but even though he had his gold medal, the owners turned him away because of his skin color. This unfair treatment made a deep impression on Muhammad Ali and inspired him to fight injustice in his country in addition to boxing in the ring. Soon after the Olympics, Ali became a professional boxer. He approached boxing like a science. He learned about nutrition, exercise, and strategy. He knew that mental strength, discipline, and endurance were more powerful than a forceful punch. Ali continued to win every boxing match. In 1964, Muhammad Ali became heavyweight champion of the world by knocking out Sonny Liston. Until that year, Ali was still called by his birth name, Cassius Clay. As he grew more famous for boxing, he also met many leaders fighting for racial equality in America. He joined them through the Nation of Islam, a black Muslim group supporting equal rights. He officially changed his name to Muhammad, worthy of all praises, Ali Most High. Ali's Muslim faith led to an important moment in history. At that time, the U.S. was fighting a war in a country called Vietnam. The government needed more men to fight, so they used the draft. Anyone who was drafted was legally forced to become a soldier. Muhammad Ali received his draft notice in 1967. The Houston Post. Clay gets five years, $10,000 fine. Ali wins draft case appeal. Americans were divided about Muhammad Ali, his religion, the draft, and his activism for equal rights. However, Ali stayed true to his belief in religious and racial freedom and passion for boxing. As soon as he could box again professionally, he won back his title of heavyweight champion of the world. Muhammad Ali fought in some of the most famous boxing matches in history, beating opponents such as Joe Frazier, George Foreman, and Leon Spinks. In 1981, Ali retired from boxing with a record of 56 wins, 5 losses, and 37 knockouts. He donated millions from his fights to charity, supporting global causes and people in need. When Ali was 42, doctors found out that he had Parkinson's disease. This condition caused tremors in his body, and made it difficult for him to speak. However, he bravely continued as a public figure, fighting for justice as much as he could. Ali was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2005. 
Muhammad Ali passed away in 2016. Most people remember him for the historic moment at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. He surprised the world by carrying the Olympic torch at the opening ceremony, an honor given to very few and one that required courage on Ali's part due to his declining health. Muhammad Ali was a true fighter as one of the greatest boxers and athletes of the 20th century and a champion of equality and humanity. The end.